Hey, what's going on everybody? Brian Douglas here. This is Big Deal Productions Production Life. And today, we decided we wanted to show you what's in our bag. Roll the intro. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to show you what is in our camera bag. So let's go ahead. Before we get started, I actually want to do a quick shout out to Peter McKinnon. And of course, the link will be down there in the description below. Awesome YouTube channel. But the reason why I'm mentioning him, not that he needs a shout out, he's got like 250,000 subscribers. But the reason why I'm mentioning him is because he's been a huge inspiration to us as of late with our Production Life series, how we film it, how we do post, how we color it editing, all that fun stuff. In fact, the position that I'm sitting in right now was an inspiration from pretty much all of his videos, window light. It's awesome. Great job, great suggestion. So Pete, if you're watching this, which I hope you do, thank you very much. You are, uh, you're awesome, man. We really appreciate it. Great inspiration. All right, so let's get started. I'd like to show you guys the creepiest thing in our bag, and that would be this. This is not just a creepy head or a really cool thumbnail, which by the way, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, no, this is actually a blocking tool. So what you do, if you're by yourself and uh, you don't have anybody to block your shot or uh, set up the focus, take one of these, pop it on a tripod, and you're good to go. All right, so let's move on. This is one of my absolute favorite tools in our bag and that is the GoPro Osmos. Now this is the newest version. It uh, is set up for the Hero 5. It's, it's fantastic. It's extremely smooth. You can flip it around and do the exact same thing, you know. So I really, really enjoy this. It's got a locking feature. So if you press the button, now I can, it stays in the same spot. So highly recommend it, super cheap, and uh, it's very small very durable. This one actually has a thing where you can disconnect it and put on the iPhone uh, setup as well. Ladies and gentlemen, the Glidecam HD 2000. It's a really cool concept. Um, I love this thing, ish. I absolutely hate setting this thing up. I hardly ever use it anymore because the Nikons are super heavy DSLRs, so you have to have a ton of weights on it, and every fine tuning you do makes a drastic impression on how this is balanced. Then you throw like an eight pound Nikon D5 on it, and it, you have to like, it was just like the, I wanted this to work so bad. The Nikon D5. Right now I'm actually filming with the D4S, not a lot has changed, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not professional enough to go through all the different changes. Uh, if you wanna check out Frono's photos, uh, he dives into it really well and shows you all the differences. So the frame itself is pretty much the exact same. They've moved a couple buttons around. Um, I'm gonna go to photos, and uh, this is the rapid fire. That didn't work. Let's try it again. Yeah, it's like a shotgun. And now I have to delete 4,826 photos. So super awesome camera. It's the best DSLR out there. I know Canon users, you're gonna make comments and I don't really care. I love Nikon. It's awesome. So there you go. Okay, so this is the Sony NEX FS700 with a VidPro XM55 condenser shotgun microphone. Um, so we have two Sony NEX FS700s. Uh, this one has a cam tree uh, protective mount around it. And what's cool about it is that literally all these different little holes are uh, corrugated with uh, screw mounts. So you can actually make this whatever you want. You can put uh, HD recorders on it, 4K recorders. You can put different uh, flashes on it. You can put multiple lights on it and uh, you can put multiple mics on it. So the other thing is, is that with uh, cinematic cameras, 
you get a lot of buttons. So what I did is I actually learned all the different buttons on here, what they do, how it's displayed, all that fun stuff. The other thing that I really like about this is that it literally shoots 960 frames per second at 480p. <laughs> it does shoot uh, 240 frames per second at 1080p. So we get those super, super slow-mos like you can see here even though this is super fast paced. I mean, it's a motocross, a dirt bike, flying through the air at 45 miles an hour, but we can pick out those individual little tiny specks of dirt and watch them fly. It's incredible. Sliders! Yes, everyone should have at least one slider. This is actually an off-brand 36 inch. It's a bearing track. I'm not a big fan of these, especially since we shoot outdoors a lot and at motocross tracks where it's really dusty. This one's great just as a beater slider. Um, 100 bucks, it's not that bad. And um, yeah, I mean, go, go out and get one. This is the newer 42 inch carbon fiber with adjustable legs, which is awesome. It is on a rail track, which I like this so much better because basically it's just these little, these little tracks if you do get it dirty, you just wipe it. It's just plastic. It's not a bearing, which is fantastic. If you have an opportunity to grab one of these, go grab it. Okay, so now let's talk about aerial photography and aerial videography. We might as well go through the first one. Everyone loves it. Everyone knows it. It is the Phantom 3 Pro. It is the best bang for your buck. I believe right now you can buy them at Best Buy for like $6.99 or $5.99 and this is professional quality. So we shoot at 1080 at 60 frames per second, which is phenomenal, especially since we shoot a lot of motocross and a lot of fast paced stuff. We did a Ducati uh, review and we were able to cross paths and it came out really well. So highly recommend this one. Of course, you guys know that. The one you really might not know or see and wonder what the hell it is, there it is. This, my friends, is the DJI Inspire Pro X5. I needed a sip. We got this one is number one. It looks cool. And uh, the legs actually go up, which allows a 360 for the Zoom Eyes X5 lens. This is fully functional like a regular DSLR. You can adjust your ISO aperture, your exposure, like you can actually do focus points and expanded focus on this thing. It's phenomenal. That's why we don't have the Phantom 4 because this is our main camera. And as you see, it's actually pretty dirty from the motocross track. So talking about lighting, we've got, uh, as you can see here, the Pro Studio softer ambient light stuff. It's great for the studio itself, but if you plan on taking them anywhere, they're just gonna break. So these things are pretty phenomenal. Um, as you can see, this is blue. And the reason why is because you can actually do different slides. Maybe this is a happy film and uh, I need a yellow light and it's LED. So you never have to change the bulbs. It's also got a, uh, a nice little battery indicator as well. They're durable, so I like that. So this is uh, something that's in our bag. They come with three, they come with a tripod and they come with uh, a carrying case. So everything's nice and secure. So speaking of lighting, this is actually probably one of the weirder things we do have in our bag. Uh, this is a five in one reflector disc. This is how it works. Ow! So you've got gold, you got white, and then you unzip it, and you got a bunch of other different colors and stuff. It's fantastic. I highly recommend one of these. The most important thing, in my opinion, in our bag is not in our bag. It's actually the bag itself. Our camera equipment, our drones, these are super important things to us. Without them, we wouldn't have a production company. I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you through a lens if they weren't protected. So there it is. That is the final thing in our bag, which is our bag. So guys, that is it. Thank you for liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing. You guys keep doing what you're doing, and we are out.